What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Pastors Game 2 Raider franchise here in Madden 23. It is season three, week two, and we come off of a heartbreaking loss against the Kansas City Chiefs. And um, we got to rectify that. Uh, but this week, we got to deal with Christian McCaffrey and the Carolina Panthers. Raiders feeling a little morale drop after that last game. Always tough to lose against a rivalry team, uh, but it's just the start of the season. And the good news is that you can turn all that around with a with a quality win. Let's take a look at the Panthers here. They have a young quarterback in Chris Gatewood, who's going to come out and get going. Chris looks like he's got good throw power. A lot of these players come out with good throw power, 95 throw power, but um, fairly accurate. Could be all right. Um, we'll see what he does. Of course, you got to deal with Christian McCaffrey. I don't think we've had to play them yet. Um, and on the receiver list is DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson, a guy that can get behind us for sure. And with the way we played last week, that could be a real problem for us. Um, both of those guys are pretty quick. Tommy Trimble is another really good receiving option for them. Let's take a look at this offensive line. The offensive line is good. And defensive line is not bad. Linebackers could use some work. Maybe it'll exploit the linebackers. Got to worry about some quick players here. Dante Jackson, one of their faster corners. Um, Joe, JC Horn, uh, Joe Horn, that's a receiver. Uh, secondary is not bad either. This is a good team. This is a good team. They look a lot like the, the Chiefs looked actually. Um, so we'll see what that quarterback can do. Let's see if we can get in there um, on him. This game, this game, I think we're going to see if, I think we might see, let's take a look at the depth chart here. We might see if we, I had to divine Diablo. Oh, I thought I had divine Diablo in the game. We'll see who's lined up there. And um, we may make sure that we get McLeod in the game to see just what he has. As a matter of fact, let's go to the managed staff here. I kind of just want to know what Divine Diablo is. I think we have enough to just do it. We've seen enough. Yeah, let's. I want to see who. Oh, can I not do that? Oh, it takes 50. I got 49 or 41. Okay, well, we'll. I think we want to see what we got with him um, and quit playing around with it. Okay, deal with the outside run. We're okay with that. Um, throw it deep. Okay, we'll try to throw it deep. And you know what? We really don't need Leland to have that. Let's... Um, that cornerback in here is he is he in the set already yeah yeah we want him to let's tighten him up all right start also let's see if we can be full bill of health here matt shields was on the on the pup list last week this week we got all of our offense and all of our defense right on. So let's jump in this thing. All right, it's the Carolina Panthers. And oh, wait, before we do that, let's see what the upgrade is. Okay, Tommy Favors, definitely interested in that. Um, I think I could use some sp speed coming off the left side, but uh, wow, wow to that. Trayvon Mullen. 
wait a minute he's 88 is he still okay he's still a superstar factor let me look at his ratings so covers went down uh, we're gonna go zone uh, slot rather and see what we get here plus two yeah plus one all right all right now Cowler on Carolina Panthers um, saw an interesting uniform sitch current home Classic home. Let's see what we're going. All right. All right. Let's get this party started. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at Allegiant Stadium with the Las Vegas Raiders hosting the Carolina Panthers. And Josh Jacobs led the offense last week with uh, 21 carries and 115 yards. But... It was actually the passing game that looked good for most of the game uh, until the interception. But that's last week. This week we're up against the Carolina Panthers with Christian McCaffrey and the young quarterback Chris Pinewood, I believe it is, that's going to come in and uh, see what we have. This Carolina Panther defense has also created some excitement and... Uh, I think the Raiders can ride the ship here, but it would go a long way to win this game. So we need this W here. We go. Okay, so uh, now we're just gonna not deal with the kick. All right, Ian Rudnick with a good game last week. And um, coaches mentioned that we're gonna try to get him Passing the ball a little bit more. Just 289 yards. This is not too scary. But uh, the way he passed the ball around to several receivers. Uh, we're going to see a lot more of Darnell Mooney in this game. Um, there's a lot of options here for this team. And uh, we hope that we can get Rudnick to unleash them. And that's a nice run for Josh Jacobs already. Eight yards coming out the gate. And that's a second and two for the Raiders. See what we get here. Um, let's go back to the run. Go ahead and get this first down. First down. Josh Jacobs looking for it. Does find it. Big run. And and he's pulled down by number 43. A strong safety, but Jacobs gets the run that he needs. Joe Johnson or Jay Johnson. Not sure what the first name is, but big run by number 28 to uh, loosen up that uh loosen up that defense a little bit. You know, we're gonna go with a one more run here. See, no reason why we shouldn't do that. Up the middle. And gets nine yards on that play. They come up and stop him from getting 10 yards. Uh, and getting in the zone. I think he would have been in the zone after that. After that run. And another first down for Josh Jacobson. So 40 yards already in this first quarter. No passes have been thrown yet, but looks like we're going to come out. Look to throw right here. Finds Howard across the middle, who should not be there. That's up. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Ugh. There's nothing to challenge. Why is that even an option? Okay. Okay, we got to call timeout. Can we call timeout? Wow. Okay, I don't know what is happening and why I'm having to choose this play, but... Okay. Oh, 
That was weird. All right, well, we're gonna, we need to get the first down here. And uh, Shields should be in the game. And Waller gets the first down. And that's a big catch. Huge catch, actually. Okay, so let's see what we want. We want coaching. Yeah, and I think that's because Shields was injured last week. And that may have reset. There's Mooney on the right-hand side. Amos and Adams. Mm. And a good coverage. Good coverage on, on Devontae. They didn't bite at all on the double move. Jacobs with the catch there. It's just third and four. And uh, there's a part of me that wants to go ahead and run this ball. What do y'all think? I think I think want to run right up the middle and try to get these four yards. We've been running, running pretty good. There he is. Josh Jacobs breaks the tackle and does get the first down. And he's got 52 yards on the day already. And we're going to go with a play action. Going to push. Uh, and that's Waller. Is that not a touch? Ah, oh, no touches. All right, well, we're going in with, going in with JJ. This one's for JJ. And he's in there for the touchdown. The Raiders go with the TD. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hmm. I don't know. Did he not get in there? That was pretty close. That football must have barely got over the line. And the score, seven to zero. Raiders strike first. And is that Mike Tomlin? Mike Tomlin is on the sideline of the Carolina Panthers. That would be weird. It is uh, year three. And there's been some coaching carousels. Pittsburgh did not have a very good season, really first or second seasons that we played. And so, uh, makes sense. All right, we got the young quarterback coming out leading this Carolina team. Looking to get it going. Chris Gatewood, not Pinewood. No, no touchdowns, no interceptions, 242 yards. Didn't score, looking to get his first uh, touchdown pass of the season. The Raiders don't want any of that. Um, obviously, the big person to worry about here is McCaffrey. There he is. And we're there to pick him up and drop him for two yards. And Mullen is in for the tackle. Mullen is in number 16. Who's number 16? I don't know who number 16 is. But everybody was there. Sheesh. Um, second and two. Uh, second and 12. We're going to stick with the man coverage. Let's see if we can get in. With, we don't. This guy's still up. Man, it's going to take the whole team to take him down. And so for everything that he lost, he picked it up and some on that run. Let's see what happens here. Smoot, he shouldn't be in the game. Man. Uh, I don't know why there's certain players in the game that it's not making sense to me why they're there. 
Why was Smoot in the game? Yeah, I'm not sure why why that one guy was in the game. Mm, big hit by Jonathan Abram. And we're going to go with a blitz play here. Bring Merrick down a little bit. Mm, and we come in and get the play. And who is that? Number 98, Max Crosby comes in and just bulldozes over his guy to get to the young quarterback. Not just Max. Who's the other guy that's over there? There's a couple players back there. Third and 11. Let's see what we got. Um, they've got some speedsters. And the pressure was coming. He throws the ball into the into the into the stands, basically. And uh, all right, so they're going to go for the field goal here, fourth and eleven on the thirty-nine of us, fifty-six yard field goal. It's up, and it's good with a lot of leg left. That kicker, wow, fifty-six. And look at this. Look at that. Like he's got all kind of leg left. But seven to three for for this one. Mm. Come out and see if we can get a run here. This is the end of the first quarter. Uh, Matt Shields with the catch and the tight end, the young rookie tight end gets in, gets in the play. And that's the end of the first quarter score seven to three Raiders over the Carolina Panthers. Carolina doesn't have much in the air, but as is expected, Christian McCaffrey already off to a major start in this game. So now we've got the Raiders looking for a big run. They find it. Josh Jacobs. And he is up and and Adam. And that is close to 100 yards for Josh Jacobs. I think that might have been 20 yards or so. Offense is doing a good job with the blocking. And Jacobs is warm. And that's a fumble. Oh my gosh, we do pick it up. The offensive lineman almost. Oh, and this is Nichols, the uh, the ex Raider, comes up and tries to make a play. Actually, does make a play, but we couldn't. Uh, they couldn't seize on it. I'm gonna push uh, Amos on the outside there. Yeah. There's Mooney with his first catch as a Raider, and that's a first down. And Raider faithful was curious why Mooney was not in the game last week, and uh, they get a little satisfaction in seeing that first catch. Done and another nice pass. Ian finds his target in Darren Waller, who brings it in just before going out of bounds. Out of bounds. Nice pass. Ooh, he may not have gotten that. Let's see if they challenge it. They don't. They don't challenge it. And I don't know. We got Amos on the outside. I think we can beat him. No, we don't. Oh, I thought normally that would slide. I thought maybe we could get in there, uh, but we didn't. 
And let's see, what can we get here? We're going to try to pass the ball in. Okay, A, I pressed two buttons. I pressed triangle, it didn't throw it. I pressed X, and he didn't throw it. Literally, literally pressed the button twice. I think that's wild. That's all I'm saying. It's just, I think that's wild. All right, we might get shields here. And there he is, the rookie with his first touchdown pass by Ian Rudnick and Matt Shields, the Raider. Coaching staff loves this guy. Thinks he's going to be a major piece to this team. Maybe a little holding there. But that's a big play for Ryan, uh, for the Raiders, and for Ian, and for Rednick, and for Matt Shields. And man, this offense can really have something special if we can get Ian Rednick really, really going. And so that's two touchdowns, 14 to three against the uh, Carolina Panthers. And kick is off. All right, we're playing a pass, although they're probably going to run this. I don't know why I'm playing the pass. Why did I play the pass? Mmm, tried to hit him. Malone comes up to deliver the, the play, and, and and he's got to, again, he's, Elijah Malone's got to play better uh, against the pass. I think the gave up the big play last week. Oh, we missed the play right there. And there's another... There's no, again, this defense doesn't feel like last year. Last year, it just felt like everything had come together. Again, on paper, defense looks good, but um, not quite getting it done. And so the young quarterback finds his target. All right, I tell you what we're going to do. We are going to go back to some of our core plays here actually this isn't one of those core plays mm, big hit by Merrick and Gatewood is four for five right now and we don't want him to get any get his first touchdown on us this is going to be a run this is a run I don't care that they're in shotgun this is a run There he is. McCaffrey still gets six. Uh, that's, um, let's get that going. And that's a nice pass. Good pass. And that's a nice catch. And uh, Alden Tate, who is supposed to have been on him? Like he's wide open. What happens? 87. So is this guy, right? And what are you doing? Who is this? Woolen. Where are you going? What? What is that? What kind of coverage is that? Wow. You can't, you're not going to be able to, uh, um, yeah, you're not going to be able to. Hmm. I don't know. We might have to. We might have to. We might have to make some moves. Again, trying to get the young players. You know what? You know, we're going to. We got to get the young. We got to get the young players an opportunity. So we're going to try. We're going to try to get them an opportunity. So. We'll keep them in. We're going to see if they can learn from the mistakes. That play right there was, 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 was something. All 
Once again, I threw the ball away. All right, so second and 20. Um, um, two minute warning. And maybe we should run the ball here, yeah. All right, we're going to try to run it. <laughs> and we get a couple yards on that. Third and 18. I don't know why. Maybe I... Mm, maybe I shouldn't have run it up the middle. Um... There's Mooney. They're probably in. Vante gets a little bit. Fourth and four on that. And we probably need to go ahead and punt this. I'm, we'll, we'll go ahead and punt it. There's a part of me that wants to go for it. Ooh. Is that McCaffrey? And Raheem Short is 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 no bueno. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and replace. No, I said we're gonna keep him. We're gonna keep him. Come on, D. Intercepted. Let's go. Mullen with the interception. And finally, the defense makes a play. This time, Mullen is there to get him. Give me that. That's a nice looking play right there. Uh, okay. Well, we had to punt it. And the defense gave us the ball back, so we've got another shot here. Oh, we threw it. Oh, my gosh. We got to throw the ball, man. Ian Rudnick is, I guess he's just taking forever to throw it. Because I'm pressing the button, and it is not... Throwing the ball. Okay, I think we'll get Waller here. Nice throw. And Mooney adjusts to get to the pass. But that's a nice first down catch. And Mooney significantly better than Crutchfield was last year, uh, last week. And uh, yeah, let's get that done. I think he's going to have to stay in. Oh, I threw it up. I tried to throw it up over him. I saw him. And that's an interception. I saw him, but I tried to throw it over his head, and apparently it wouldn't do that. I saw him. I'm trying to throw it to here, up in this area. And he just didn't really look. That's still, look, he barely jumps. I am trying to throw it high. Mm. Well, we give it right back. Good catch. All right. Okay. I tell you what, we're going to call. We're at the place where we're going to call our own defensive plays now. I've got to start figuring out who and what is what on this defense. There's Hobbs, he's in the game. Mm. Ooh, is that a catch? Wow, nice catch by DJ Moore, and you can't be mad at that play. Just beats us one-on-one. Oh, they want to review it. I think, I think it's a catch. I think it's a, yeah. Yeah, that's a catch.
And you know what? I might have to take Venner and shot the game. Mm. I don't know. Vanderish had, but he have a lot of tackles the last time. Come on, favors. Oh, and DJ Moore gets the catch anyway. It's a nice catch. Uh, are they going to go for this? They are. Oh, and they get the touchdown. Malone is not able to get there quickly enough. They find the tight end, Tommy Trimble, and that gives them the lead. And uh, this defense, man, we've got a lot of young players on this defense, and they uh, are showing it. Uh, we might be missing Julian Love. And his veteran talent. We may be missing Jonathan Abram. His talent. Uh, we're going to have to find something to get going here. Because right now we just don't have it on defense. And Rudnick has question marks. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. I mean, first half, the Raiders down 17 to 14. Hundred and three yards on the ground for the Raiders, but uh, only 92 yards in the air. We're gonna have to figure something out there. All right, let's take a look around the league. See what we got here. Right, the Chargers are here to take on the Bucks. Chargers looking to get one and one. Sam Donald taking over the quarterback in front of them. And the Buccaneers were a good looking team in preseason, so that could be a really tough game. Josh Allen not able to get the Bills going, and the Rams finally getting going a little bit. We've got Matt Stafford, Cooper Cup still together, and the Denver AFC West matchup. And Denver takes it over the Chiefs. Russell Wilson still there, throws three touchdown passes to one of them to DJ. Uh, I was about to say DJ Clark. Uh, and uh, wow, interesting. The Chargers could lose. You know, if we could win, then I think we'll be fine to. Uh, hold up. If we could, um, we could win. We will be in good shape for the AFC West. All right, we've got to punt the ball away or kick the ball, and they've got the lead by three points. Lead by three points, and here we go: the Raiders and the Chiefs. I mean, and the Panthers. Sorry, I'm used to saying the Chiefs. Uh, they're going to try to run the ball, and we're going to try to stop it. Uh, we'll, we'll stay. No, they don't try to run it. Mm, and DJ Moore drops it. And that should have been a catch. Okay, so let's try the nickel. And third and four for the play. And they've got, we're going to call. Um, and let's go with, um, let's 
And the pressure was there. And Christian McCaffrey goes down. The injury to Christian McCaffrey could be tough for that offense, although that might make them need to pass more. But the Raiders get the stop they needed. Takes the Panthers three and out. And nothing going on that return. And the best thing going for the Raiders is the run game. Josh Jacobs is still in the zone. And four yard game for Jacobs on that carry. And we may catch Adams here. Hopefully they're going to let us pass the ball. Shields with the run. And he stops. He stopped on the 49 yard line. They run across the pass across the middle to Josh Jacobs and Rudnick is 12 for 14 taking care of the ball for the most part had Waller uh, at the top of the screen there but uh, decided to go with you, you might get Waller again here was that on the right okay Oh, stand still. Actually, I would think we, uh, yeah, that's my fault. That one is my, my blad, as we used to say. My blow, my bad. And the fumble happens. And Darren Waller gets the catch, but gets the ball punched out. Let's see if we get a peanut punch here. Here's the pass, gets it, stood up, and number 21 comes through and just punches the ball out. And that's a huge play for the Carolina Panthers. Caffrey's not in the game. Defense is all confused. Oh, I don't know what's happening with the screen. And just like that, up. Uh, oh, man, we are giving up the big play. Wow. That's twenty-four to fourteen. Tough. Tough. Tough out here in these streets. All right, let's go, Crutchfield. Okay, what? What's going on with the? What's going on with the screen? Everybody's all confused. Decent throw. Okay, let's let's we can we don't have to go to the run. We gotta go to the run. And third and two. Come on. Come on, Jacobs. Big run, and that's a first down. I'm going right back to the run. We we can't lose this game. Um, it's kind of one of those things where you get, oh, we get a loss, and that, that takes Josh Jacobs out of the zone. I think this one's going to Waller. 
Good passing catch. Devontae Adams said it's time. Goes out here and gives him a stiff arm just to let him know that the games are no longer being played. And this one, I think we're going to try to catch Waller. We do. And that's not a touchdown. Let's go ahead and get this touchdown and get some of this momentum back. And right up the middle goes Josh Jacobs for the touchdown. And we got a little work to do. Nice going with the offense, though, especially with the home field advantage working against us. Now we need the defense to come through and just just make a play. You know, that's what we need. We need a play. We need a play from you, D. Can you come through? It's time to grow up a little bit, young fellas. Down by three. And they get it. All right, so what's it going to be here? It's clear that the man coverage is not working so so what we might have to go back to is that kind of bend don't break philosophy oh and Malone is there to make the play that time nice play so look at some of the drafting that happened And McCaffrey's McCaffrey's not in the game. We accidentally told everyone to play the run and they tried to get us for it. I couldn't uh, I couldn't fix it. Let's go. That should have been a sack. I thought he was going to try to throw it, but we'll take it. Three and out. The Raider defense do show up. Woolen was able to get in and put a little pressure on the quarterback. And that is what we need to see more of from this team. Three and out. Give the ball back to the offense. And let's see if we can do something about that. Oh, this dude is a 98, 98 speed. He should be able to uh, 98 speed, 93 acceleration. Let's go Raiders. Mooney's got that over there. Hmm. This may end up going to uh, Devante. Oh, triangle is open. Man, but this, whoever this gross Mateos, this dude is coming in. Gross Matos, he's coming in like it's nothing. Nice pass. Mooney there to make the catch. And that's a good throw by Ian Rudnick responding to the pressure. Gets in and throws a solid ball into the third quarter. The Raiders down here. 196 yards passing, 114 yards rushing for the Raiders. And um, this is a big down here, third and three. We well, think we can get the running. Josh Jacobs does get the first down. Gets about three and he's over 100 yards for the day
Come on, y'all. Give me a good block here. Give me a good block. Nah, you blocked the wrong guy. Man. That looked like we had it. There we go. There we go. Nice run. Uh, let's see if we can get the screen pass. Going to Jacobs. Nice. And nice play. Way to use the block. And Ian running with 245 yards passing today. And that's a nice little, little play to Josh Jacobs. Oh, that's it. It is frustrating when you press buttons and nothing happens. Second and 14. And unbelievable. First of all, that's the quickest. Oh, man. I basically throw the ball almost immediately. And he still has to throw it while getting hit. Let me take a look at this because the quickness. Oh, man, we can't look at it. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. The quickness, which. Oh, I guess I guess we didn't fall back enough. That's tough. That's tough. We needed that. We needed that. Yeah, well, it, when he got hit, it's like he got hit on the arm or something while he was throwing it. And Hubbard tries to get some yardage, but gets nothing. And the Raiders are just having a hard time staying with this offense. Um, let's go here. Fourth quarter and down by three. Can't afford a touchdown pass here. And that time, Raiders able to get in and make a play. And let's see what happens. Flanagan is confused. And Vander Esch finally makes a big play. Number 45, where have you been, sir? Where have you been? Haven't heard him, haven't heard Max Crosby. Number 23 or 32, 32 was coming in. Look like McLeod. That's a big, uh, big play here. So now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go here. Big, let's go. And Hobbs comes in and makes the sack, and that gets it done on the zone blitz. Fourth and 32, and the Panthers. Had nowhere to go. And this defense found a way to get something going after the uh after the turnover. Wow. All you see is Panthers. All you see is Panthers. Okay. All right. Mm, nice pass and catch. Rudnick, 20 for 23. Uh, two interceptions in this game. But 
Still feels like he's been playing well. Two minute warning. Second and 15. Looking for Adams here. No. Good throw to Amos. Gets the first down. Nice play. Nice play there. I think uh, Devontae drew two players. Yeah, he drew two of them over there. And I think that kind of kind of helped out. All right, we got a minute. We're in field goal position, so we don't really need to force anything. Don't fumble it. And second and 12. Come on, Ian, who you throwing to? Third and 12. Third and 12. to field goal. And it's good. The Raiders tie the game and here we are with another close game. Um, kind of hate to leave this to the defense because the defense has not played well. Although the last the last uh, drive was a pretty good drive. There's three timeouts here. And we've got to without without Christian McCaffrey. We should be able to get this done. Oh, they inbounds. Make them use that timeout. They use it. And we just got to keep it all in front of us. Actually, we're just going to keep it in front of us. It's us. Let's go. And Hobbs with another big play, making a case for why he should be in the game. And that could be the game winning play right there. Hobbs comes up and we are going to run this ball and get these timeouts spent. Kick this ball in. Josh Jacobs working on it. Oh, yeah, they can call timeout. They're going to try to freeze us on the six-yard line. Uh, man, we do not need a block punt here. But this should be pretty easy stuff. It's up. And it's good. The Raiders now take the lead. Nate Hobbs. I think Nate had two sacks and an interception. And he is uh, making the case for getting in the game a little bit more often. I think we've got Woolen in. All right, so now we've got this play, and we have already seen this happen. So this is not a foregone conclusion. Push all the way back. Charles, you're coming off a costly mistake on 
Bean. And that's another interception. This time by Diablo. Come on, Diablo. Get your get yourself get your touchdown. And that will do it. The Raiders get to get the W in this game. Finally found a way to get some defensive energy at the end of the game, fourth quarter. And I think that might be Hobbs again. That was in there. And Diablo gets the interception. We get it done. Man, we needed that. We needed that. <laughs> Ian Rudnick, 21 for 26, throws two interceptions. But also one touchdown. And again, that's two interceptions, one touchdown, but just feels like a better game. But Josh Jacobs holds it down for us for sure. Uh, and Darren Waller, I think, leads for the second game in a row. Receptions. Darnell Mooney comes in behind him, and Devontae Adams with one of his lower outputs of the year. Colton Miller. Uh, and defensive. What's that? Josh Jacobs has two. Uh, Trayvon Mullen with four, one tackle for loss, one interception. But Hobbs, I think this guy might be the guy here. Two tackles, one tackle for loss, one sack, one interception. Might have got a touchdown. I don't know, he didn't get the touchdown. Uh, but yeah, solid game, fun game. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Raiders versus the Panthers. Raiders get the W. Get the W. And we still haven't figured it out, but there he is. Nate Hobbs. I see you. I see what you got here. Oh, uh, yeah. We will. Let's do man to man. Okay. All right. Hmm. You know what? I think we might. Um, he would be the normal third third guy and we we don't have him there we have someone else there oh, we we back at the Kansas City Chiefs for this week hmm very interesting all right we'll do some of these other things um offline if there's something noteworthy, then we'll make sure we add it in the video. No need to preview the Kansas City Chiefs. We just did that a, uh, a week ago. So, that means this episode has come to an end. Man, if you enjoyed that, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're ready for this rematch against the Kansas City Chiefs. Until then, this is Pastors Game 2. God loves you and so do I. And I will see you when I see you. Peace.